Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we are talking about how to switch to Corn Shell in Linux. So, if you don't know what Corn is, it's also a band from the 2000s, which no one likes. But, uh, but more importantly, it's a command shell that you can use. It's uh, it was developed in Bell Laboratories by David Corn, and a lot of people like to use it. I know in some college classes that my friends had for a Linux class, they always make them use Corn for whatever reason so it's pretty popular with academics and stuff and a lot of unix guys so like older unix users love corn so to start off we're going to need to install ksh that's the abbreviation of corn and that's what you would call it in the command system so you would you wouldn't type in corn you would type in ksh when you want to get to it so to install it we need to do we need to install the MKSH package. So the reason that I'm going with MKSH in this tutorial instead of something else is because MKSH can be found on every single distribution that I've done research on. So that means that it's the MER BSD version of it. It's still the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. You know, if you want to use coin, you're probably going to know the difference, but you know, for average people just looking to try different shells, it's not a big deal. So let's just do sudo apt install mksh tack y and let it install now once you install a shell it's going to write itself in the etsy slash shells file so we can do cat etsy shells and uh, if you check the article in the description i go over how you can save this to a file so that you can do it for later and you can you know always know what's in this so you can go through and search it at your, at your leisure instead of having to use the cat command but uh, just highlight this here copy it to your clipboard and then just do c h s h do not use sudo do not do that you enter your password and then you can just do control shift v and it should automatically change to mksh and uh, we have to restart the computer which i can't do right now but we can also just access it instantly with ksh and there we go we're using ksh all the commands are still the same uh, you don't really see much difference unless you really and if you run the man mksh command you can go through and read all about your new shell it will talk about everything that it can do there's the interactive shell the login shell privilege shell there's a lot of information here there's like a ton of stuff so if you've been interested in other alternatives to bash i would recommend this if you want to get into unix and you want to learn a little bit about uh, you know the philosophy of corn and all of that and all of that information can be checked out in the link in the article that i wrote below so just go ahead and check that out i'm not exactly an expert on ksh i don't know the ins and outs of every little thing but i do know that it's a pretty good alternative to bash if you're if you're not happy with it you can always check this one out so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one